Well, today my plan is to weld up this V-strut that mounts to the bottom of the fuselage. Ron Mason has it drawn so that it welds to the fuselage. But when I built the fittings to mount the main landing gear to, I made a provision for the V-cabane to bolt to the bottom of the fuselage for two reasons. One, it could be removed if it was ever damaged and replaced without having to weld on the finished fuselage. And two, it could be removed if you wanted to put floats underneath the airplane and not have to have this V-cabane dragging in the uh, slipstream or use it as an attach point for the float system. So here's the fuselage and here's the forward section. Down here is where that V strut gets mounted and fabricated. It's going to mount to the inboard <coughs> portion and it will V down below there. Give the landing gear a place to mount to. Well, at least to give the uh, landing gear struts a place to mount to. So I'm going to flip the fuselage over and fabricate up, cut and fit the parts. So I would call him a designer, but I think it's more accurate to say he was the guy that drew the plans. He didn't specify a material for this V strut, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use 7 8 49 tubing. It's 4130 chromoly. I'll cope the tubing to fit these bushings that I made up to mount the V cabane. And uh, have the two meet in the middle here. We'll weld it off. And then... Uh, there's a strengthening gusset plate, which I've already made two of. And I'll get these formed up and they'll weld to the V portion where the V meets up in the air to uh, give a mount point for the shock absorbers, for the bungee cords or the springs, whatever. I haven't really made that decision yet. The plans don't specify either, although they do recommend a uh, bungee style system like you'd have on a J3 Cub. So to properly space that uh, gusset, this thing, I turned out a couple bushings. They're 7 eighths the same, uh, same length. Actually they're just slightly longer than the tubing diameter. So basically this component is going to get secured in mid-air, eight and a half inches over the main floorboard cross member. And it's going to be held in position by tubes that weld up to these bushings and join to that plate. So the setup is about a five-handed affair, but basically I've squared the center line off of the fuselage tube and then I've squared the V cabane itself to the lateral axis of the fuselage. So now I'm going to tack everything in place and I'll finish welded on the welding table. I'm just going to eyeball where the V strut welds up to the bushings and try to keep it right in the middle to spread the load between the two mount fittings. So here's the part where I wish I had four hands. This here. This here. And I'm up in the middle. Make sure I have an approximate center point On the bushing. I'm going to fit up as close as I can, tack it into place. Forward.
that's generally tech. I get these other ones started. Then I'll structurally tack it. That's exactly where I want it. I wish the fit up was a little bit better, but I can work with filling that, especially where I have that gusset plate that goes on there. So to facilitate moving this thing over to the welding table, I clamp that uh, straight edge on there because my tack is not very good and I've got a lot to fill to make that work. And I don't want the relationship of it to change after it's finished welded. I want to make sure it still fits in the mount bracket. So it's fairly likely that this is going to walk a little bit. So I'm going to weld it together and then I'll refit it and make sure that everything fits before I completely finish weld it. So let me see if I can run a tack here across the top of this. There's one side. I'll flip it over and do the other side. Alright, so with the center section welded off, I'm checking the fit one more time. It's tight. I had to wiggle it, lean on it, and tap the bolts in with a hammer. But it was supposed to be a welded structure anyhow. So the fit up on these bushings was a lot better than the fit up I had on the uh, V portion of the strut. There I was welding to basically to air. Here I have uh, a solid piece to work to, a little thicker material, so I should get fairly good results on this. Let's see. All right, so the strut is welded. It's welded to the bushings. I put everything back together. I had to heat this cherry red and torque it just a little bit to get everything to line up again because the welding made the uh, part warp. So it's cooling, and once it's cool, I'll tack the mount plate into place. I need to shim that up a little bit so that those bushings have some relief from the V-strut because those parts will move. That's where the uh, shock struts will attach to. So I'll shim that, tack it into position, and then I'm done. Okay, so everything's in place. I got it level. 
position where I want it. I'm just going to tack these in place. Then I'll take it back over to the weld table. Well, I'm back at the weld table. I got this clamped up. I'm going to try to fill it on an uphill pass. So here, let's try it. So here it is all welded up, finished passes, certainly not the prettiest welds. I may run a pass on the inside there, but I think that gusset's plenty strong enough for what it's designed for. It does get a cap plate, but I'm going to wait to put that on there until I decide on how I'm going to make the shocks. It fits onto the airframe here. And that's it about a two-hour project.